Hey everyone, welcome back to Boss A Plays, Finding Isaac Community Remix. So, the last episode was kind of disappointing. We died in the caves. We had pretty good damage. Um, our relic didn't want to pay out. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll talk about Celtic Cross, because Celtic Cross can give us invincibility for a little while. Um, and Lord knows that uh, we, we need it. But, um, yeah, we've, we've had pretty strange episodes as of late um, with really bad key drop rates and weird spirit heart drop rates. I think they tweaked the soul, uh, soul coin, um, which, you know, that's, that's fine. Um, otherwise it could be really OP, but, uh, the relic didn't want to pay out for us either. I'm not making excuses for my poor play. It actually looks like we would have had more than enough, uh, rerolls, but, um, I guess we'll just have to suck it up and... Yeah, we definitely would have had more rerolls. Um, unlikely now, but uh, that's okay. Um, maybe this was a curse of the loss, and I just didn't see it while I was getting ready to record. It feels like it. Uh, good, uh, good, good consumable drop rate, however, so I can't complain about that. So I guess we'll go fight Larry Jr. Um, I will. Okay, I guess I'm not going to use any rerolls because um, I accidentally hit the spacebar button which I feel like an asshole for doing. Um, Blue Larry Jr. will give us potentially one Spirit Heart, or maybe even two. Um, I will definitely not be picking those up, because I just looked at the map, and there is indeed a Sacrifice uh, Curse Room, so... I want in on that, as you might imagine. So yeah, how's everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are doing okay. I'm hoping to do a much better run uh, than what we unfortunately offered up yesterday. Well, you know, I I suppose I didn't want to pick up that spirit heart. Well, oh well, um, shame, shame, shame on, on Va for picking up the spirit heart. I don't really know if we could have gotten out of there without picking it up, but um, I guess we're going to take Celtic Cross. It's not the worst thing in the world. Celtic Cross is actually a pretty good item, I think. And we probably, to be honest, we probably would have taken it, but um, re regardless of, of how uh, the item went on the boss, so. It's a lot of flies, isn't it? So here's here's what we really do. Um, first of all, we, we break all this poop. So... That worked fairly nicely, um, and we get more money, which means I'm going to the shop. Alright, uh, good to know. I am going to go to the shop, and we'll see what we get out of that. It can't be greed on the first floor, I don't believe. I could be wrong about that, I've never seen it happen. Um, I will purchase these two things. Hey, that's actually really nice. A tears upgrade is a good buy. And uh, we leave with seven cents, three bombs, and two keys. A tears upgrade, a uh, chance for minor invincibility, and uh, two spirit hearts. Would have been four spirit hearts. Or, no, it would have been three spirit hearts. Um, Child's heart has a chance of dropping more... Um, red hearts, half red hearts. There you go. Very nice. Um, hey! Guardian Angel is a really good item that I'm totally going to take, especially with the likelihood that we will be fighting a Horseman of the Apocalypse at some point. What else would I want? Mulligan? Mulligan would be fucking awesome, especially as we demonstrate just how crazy powerful our flies are. And uh, that was, of course, uh, Guardian Angel doing some uh, exemplary work there. And that's another key for us, which is always nice, and we will go and fight the boss. Um, it is Widow, of course, because um, we do not have a, a just or caring god in our universe. 
you just accept that and die like the scum that you are. I actually actually just sacrifice a little bit of my health. And hey, a deal with the angel. All stats up is fine with me. As is that. Um, so. Alright. Um, it, it's not the best damage upgrade in the world, but... It is a health upgrade on top of, and a speed upgrade, and never, it's an all-stats upgrade, obviously. So, um, we, we could definitely have benefited from Sacred Heart or something like that, but uh, the fact that we got this is not something to turn our nose up to. So, um, obviously we can't access the boss trap room unless the secret room happens to be on either side of where we are. And I will sacrifice a bomb in the vain hope that um, we are going to get lucky. That would have been really great, unfortunately. Okay, well, that's that's enough of that. We'll proceed down to the next floor. Um, every fiber in my being says this is a bad idea, but we will also go to the curse room. And indeed it was. But, uh, hey. What are you gonna do, right? Alright. Uh, so we have a Curse of Darkness on Catacombs 1. Which, as you could imagine, not the place I would want a Curse of Darkness. But hey, uh, more Spirit Hearts. That's always nice. I know I call them Spirit Hearts even though I know they're called Soul Hearts. That's just, you know, a product of having watched Northern Lion for so long. Some of his internal uh, nomenclature has uh, joined my own. I think, you know, you should own up to that sort of thing every once in a while. Okay, come here. There you go. We, we always um, end up really regretting re-rolling the bomb items, but I, I, I just don't... I don't like them enough to consistently take them, um, especially when bomb drops have actually been something kind of commonplace. And I, I, I know that they definitely uh, grant you a little bit of um, strength in some regards, especially Mr. Mega. I, I guess I just want to see what our um, there we go, what our boss will give us. And since we're right here. Um, I wish I hadn't done that, but, um, luckily for us, they killed themselves fairly swiftly. But yeah, I, ooh, um, I really wish we had Soul Penny here. Okay, just kind of hoping that that would work out for us. Alas. Oh, man, if you, they weren't just a little too fast, I, that would have been great. Um, so we'll just fight these guys the old-fashioned way. Um, Mr. Mega, again, might not be the, the worst decision to take. We've taken a lot of stupid damage, so I don't expect a deal with the Angel. Although, again, um, getting Sacred Heart, even though we don't deserve Sacred Heart, would be freaking great. And let's, let's all be honest, whenever we pick up um, a deal with the Angel room, that's what we're all really hoping for. Um, Celtic Cross, man! Um, wh what are you doing? Sure, soap is, is fine. Um, Celtic Cross has really not uh, provided us with a whole lot of chances for in, uh, invincibility. So, that's a bummer. Not to be a complete pessimist about this, but I... I, I would not, um... Be surprised if Community Remix broke the invincibility on Celtic Cross. Um, not to be rude about it, um, we'll, we'll go in here because it's just red heart damage at this point. Um, I should have, you know, should have suspected it wasn't going to be worth our time, but um, you know, got to give it up a, a shot. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we bought Champion's Belt last time, I know. Um, We'll just clear out the shop and uh, go get our Mr. Mega Bombs, which is, you know, why I felt confident in sacrificing bombs um, on the, the boss fight. So, 
I guess we go down to what will probably be Catacombs 2. I guess we can look for the secret room once. Okay. I suppose we go down. And we did actually manage to get to full health, so... Uh, and this is Caves 2. Um, and we do have um, our item room right here, which is nice. And we'll just uh, get these guys from the side. Again, I would love to have... Uh, not Bird's Foot. Um, my best friend is shit, and I hate it. But we'll do what we always do with uh, my best friend. Which was nothing in, in the end. Uh, I mean, I guess since we don't have... Any other item... You want to... Thank you. I will totally take those coins. Thank you. So our damage is about as good as it was in the in the last run. Impeccable fucking shot, you cocksucking. You're not supposed to charge if I don't move. This is... yep. Hate. Hate that room. Uh, we should have totally taken damage on those spikes, though, to be fair. Uh, technology 2! Yeah! Um, yeah. I don't, I don't particularly see a problem with, with this. Um, unfortunately... Um, our damage isn't the best when it comes to that. There we go. Hey! Another another key. I'm hoping we get more health, because ours is particularly low. Thing has a ton of health. Do, do our uh, damage upgrades not affect... It's possible. But yeah, hoping for more health to drop would be nice. Jesus. And, uh, yeah, you know, that is exactly what I asked for, I suppose. Um, so we'll just, uh, be very careful. And we did take out the fire, so that's good. And, um, more health is great. And I really like, um... I really feel like we're in a good spot. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. I do want to see if the, uh, the secret room is here. It is indeed, and it does indeed have some um, money. So let's go find the, uh, the boss. Good shot! Although I didn't think that they counted as... Um, as uh champions and keep keep in mind that uh the champions build is actually going to be even more interesting in rebirth because champions are going to kind of become like diablo champions with special abilities and unique traits and things like that uh and i'm okay that was literally um completely meaningless i'm sick and tired of uh fighting little chad truth be told Yeah, uh, oh, hey, um, finally. I suppose better late to the party than never coming to the party at all. Um, I, I hate little Chad. Uh, with an undying passion. Um, we skip him every time. And we... Fight him a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. More more, more than I feel like we need to. Um, which is, is honestly never. 
to, to be fair, I hate fighting him, um, and I never, ever, ever, ever want to have to fight him, so I suppose uh, we will go and gamble. The likelihood, uh, you know, we have six keys, so I guess we will go to the item room first because we could actually get something uh, decent out of that. And honestly, I, I wouldn't mind fighting a, um... Yep, I knew this was going to happen. Um, and the reason why I came and fought him is because I figured we would be able to get access to maybe Steam Sale. That was a great fucking shot um, from, from Greed. Um, unfortunately, we did not. We just got more money to gamble with. Um, so... We will do that. Sorry, I lost my footstool, so I was looking for it. Um, so again, you know, Technology 2 is actually a really good get. If we could pile more damage onto it, then it'd be perfect. Um, I, because I do think that it suffers a slight damage. Oh, or um, we won't really be doing anything at all here. Um, and I do believe Tears Up actually help with, um, hey, that's nice, with Technology 2, because it, um, it does something to, nice, okay, um, unfortunately he has to die, but yeah, it, it does something with your, oh, uh, I'm going to bring in Death to the Mob Trap Room. Um, but yeah, it, it has something to do with how often the beam does damage. So, um, worth, worth taking. So, let us go and see what is in this, uh, this room here. And it is a compass. Um, fuck it. I should have just done that, like, immediately, but part of me decided it wasn't necessary. I'm curious uh, to see what little planet would do with technology. Two. Or one, for that matter, which would be awesome to get. And um, we actually get a, our key and an extra back. So... I would actually say that that was worth doing, um, and I'm glad that I went through and did that. So I'm going to go and pick up our Hermit card, which at the very least will give us a fight against Super Greed or Greed on the next floor, if not actually some potentially good items. Um, and I feel like we're actually making some progress on this run. But then again, I felt like we were making progress in the last one, and I blew it on uh, Caves Part 2, so... Hard to say. Oh, wrong way. Fuck you forever, little Chad. We'd be in a much worse position if we hadn't... I know it's right next door. Um, hey, that is really, really good. Uh, map and compass are the two items that I would want from the shop at all. Um, and it is a pretty strange pathway and it's it's totally worth uh throwing a bomb in here um the money is not really important but the hero fan hero font sorry not the hero fans hero font card is completely worth it um magnet is not however so we are going to re-roll that pretty much immediately and by immediately i mean the second after we get this floor done um, and this is another reason why um, Technology 2 is great, because dis despite not... Ooh, uh, and we actually got our health back uh, that we lost dodging. Um, and we're, we're doing fairly well, I would say. Uh, the Sun card is definitely worth holding on to, however. Uh, so let us go and re-roll this. No, we already saw little Chad. I'm doing it. I don't care. Okay, we got a box of wires. Little Chad isn't supposed to show up. I'm I'm sorry. 
that that's a glitch and not a particularly good one either um and hey it gave us a uh, community remix item i don't care uh leave hate in the comment section we've we already had little chad um in our rotation and uh we it's supposed to go away forever um so again if you uh want to leave a hate comment then uh comment section's open i'm gonna i want to preserve the sun card for as long as possible and we actually saw that uh t the uh the box of wires really fucks up zombies um which is great so i suppose there's only one other thing i would i would really want and that would be flying flying is the only other thing i'd want it's nice that we're on the depths I, I hate the uh, bullshit fucking necropolis, so we're just gonna let the uh, the creep go away. Um, so let's avoid taking too much really stupid damage. And now that it's consigned to its own little den of hell. Totally, I mean, it's it's totally worth opening. I'm really glad, uh, hey, 14 keys, even though we probably won't need 14 keys, it's nice to have 14 keys. Um, really impressed we didn't take damage there. D not impressed about taking damage there. So, uh, that was unfortunately a, a bad move. Uh, hey, that is really nice. It's nice to know that we have that key in our rotation. Impeccable shot. Those things seriously have, like, the best fucking aim. Okay, you shouldn't be shooting anymore. I was terrified that that was actually creep that would hit us. Um, not too concerned about these little fuckers. So who do we want to fight? Um... Uh, the Fallen, I was about to say. This is, um, a potentially very good fight for us, um, especially because when he reaches this stage, we should be able to do considerably good damage to him. Yeah, I was say, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, uh, continue to chase me, please. Um, money equals power is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, Spirit of the Night is exactly what I would want, and I'm not picking up that. So... Oh, we could have. We could have. Um, yeah, that might not have been the best. We should have taken it because we would have gotten the Spirit Hearts back, and then we might have been able to be in Polaroid Invincibility. But... I'm just going to use the, the devil card on here. Um, I am going to go see the secret room. Because I think it behooves us to do so. Um, and obviously the lover's card is not something that we need. Uh, there is a plethora of, of health for us. Um, I, must, I must say. But uh, the flying is going to be very helpful. And the sun... While not as useful now that we have such low le level of health, um, you know, it's it's not the end of the world, I, I suppose, is the point I'm, I'm trying to get across. So, and, and sure, our damage isn't the best, but uh, I'm okay with that. So now any amount of damage that we get is uh, good because it... Or any amount of money we get is good because it adds to our damage. So, I would, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that's a one run because there's no such thing as a one run in uh, Vossadum. But uh, I, I'm feeling okay. Not, um, not the worst thing. We're, we're definitely in a better position than we were in the last couple of runs. So if, if there's any way for us to... Con Excuse me, stack, and of course it's Necropolis too, um, to stack our um, spirit hearts, 
then I would be very happy. Um, but we have a DOT, which I, I really, really like. Um, again, if you guys are mad about uh, me re-rolling, um, then again, oop, um, that was really bad dodging on my part. Let us go fight our boss, our mini boss, which I kind of expected to be super lust, or lust in, in general. I didn't exactly expect it to be super lust, but that's okay. Um, I'm not particularly worried about lust, and you shouldn't be either. Uh, bad trip is a pretty bad item. Um, I'm gonna go down to 30. It might give us a spirit heart too. No, fuck it. You had your chance. Um, the high priestess card, I I guess, is potentially useful. Uh, we definitely want to go and get that. Um, but yeah, the um, money equals power operates on. Unfortunately, um, this doesn't get the um, spectral shots. So, not much I can do there. Um, so, tarot deck. We'll definitely use the tarot deck to get a tarot card. Yeah. Yeah, the relic is great. Um, nothing in here that I'd want, but we could, might be able to get more money. That was stupid of me. Ow. Please don't die. Oh, fuck me, Va. Fuck you. Again, more spirit hearts would be nice. Now that we have the relic, we have that opportunity. And uh, there's plenty of health lying around. Not as much as there was in the last run, but um, it's definitely better than nothing. I suppose the question then is, do we go... We have to get rid of, of this motherfucker. Good shot. All right. Oh, it's... It's tough, isn't it? It is tough. That's more uh, more damage. Um, I'll go to 40. I'm fine with that. Oh, I said I'd go to 40. Hey, that's great. Um, there we go. I know I could have used the the blood bank to get into the deal into that room, but um, I probably should have done that. That was a uh, amateurish play on on my part. But hey, uh, we're getting a lot of money. That's that's good, right? Nice. Very nice. And there goes the relic payout. Um, quite, quite happy with how that works. There is more health. There's more money. And again, um, that's that's kind of why I said I, I really like having. Ooh, what is this? Oh, well, got my hopes up for a, a card that I uh, actually don't particularly like. But we'll use it in the mom fight. Because, you know, why not? And man, do I hate these enemies, but, you know. Hey, more money. Uh, judgment actually can't give us anything. Not that that matters. It's a bomb judgment. Oh, another red card! Uh, repentance. Okay. That's, that's cool. 
I'm waiting to see your foot drop. Your shadow, I should say. And we're, we're- ow. We're doing fairly good damage. And uh, Celtic Cross actually came in on a clutch uh, play there. So, quite out, quite pleased about that. And, um, I guess we're uh, going down. Yes, okay. Um, so, you all probably thought I was completely insane to carry. Um, don't. The uh, Repentance card down with me. And, ooh, Jesus, uh, Worship. Don't actually know what that does. Other than I know it's a damage decrease. Um, but I do believe that will give us a higher rate of hits on our uh, Technology 2 shot. So, I guess I'm okay with that. Okay, and then we'll just uh, kill you because you suck. And we will use this because if we can get a... Um... Oh, it'll be Conquest, won't it? Oh, that'll suck. Um... Okay. Unfortunately, we haven't taken too many enemies out of the equation, but I, I will come back and I will reroll as often as I can. Um, I, I just think that that's the best thing for us to do. And uh, that's more damage for us. So, all around, uh, good. Uh, hey, nope. Thank you. Don't, you, you don't get to use my weapons against me. Oh, you just just die, you piece of crap. Okay. So yeah, the more money we get, the better, um, obviously. Um, the Lover's card it might actually come in useful at some point, but not right now. And I hate these enemies, but hey, more money... And again, um, the more the, the more damage we do, the more damage. Um, okay, that's uh, not particularly useful for us. Um, the oh, um, I need to go and reroll. Um, the chances of us getting a library on the next floor are pretty slim, but it's it's totally worth going in on. Um, I don't think we'll be able to exhaust the reroll the, the the library on this run, especially if they do the obnoxious thing. Which they haven't done yet, and um, give us double. Um, there we go. Give us double, but um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Uh, chances are we're gonna fight conquest and not death. Um, neither are enemies that. I mean, I, I say I think conquest is actually pretty easy, and I mean that. But I, I mean that in so far as I, I don't think he's as hard as, as death. Uh, that's the second stars cards card we've we've received, um, and each one is just as useless as the last. Um, so, ooh, this is not a good room. This is a a not good room. Although we actually cleared through it fairly swiftly, uh, which I suppose is just a testament to how much damage we're actually doing. Um, there's actually even an argument that could be made to bring the Book of Belial with us, but I don't know about that, to be completely fair. Um, so, I just say we reroll. We did get Book of Belial both times. Um, well, here's what I think we're going to do. And this will kind of be a proof of concept. So, I am going to kill this room and then the next two rooms leading up to the boss which will get us a reroll then i'm going to go back and i'm going to grab the Ooh, that's yep i told see this is exactly why i said i think that the 
Champion's Belt is totally worth picking up. Because we just, we, we have really improved our situation. So yeah, I'm going to get a reroll with the D6. I'm going to use that um, Book of Belial charge that we didn't exhaust. And then we're going to fight the boss with the Book of Belial. And hopefully, um, we'll, we'll see how much damage we do and how fast that, that battle goes. And I, I suppose that will determine... Um, what we take with us for the rest of the time. I, I still think that there's a fair argument to be made um, on taking... Because we're, we're not going to get another reroll. Um, so if the Book of Belial is really, really good and really, really helps us out and really makes this fight go like supremely easily and uh, stress-free, then I, I suppose what we'll do is... We will come back, and if it is who I think it's going to be, and it's probably going to be Conquest, um, we'll re-roll the White Pony, and um, we'll, we'll go from there, I, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm trying to uh, be a little bit more tactically, tactfully minded, as they say, um, with our, our play here. Nope, it was death. Um, so we are going to get a cube of meat, which means the reroll is reserved for... And, and we're doing pretty good damage, to be to be fair. So... I, I suppose... Ow. I, I do really hate this fight. Um... Okay. Hey, uh, that's a deal with the devil. Um, which I, I guess I wish we had had um, the reroll for because we could have potentially rerolled that into the um, into something potentially useful. Um, so I, I guess I'm a little disappointed by the, the turn of events there. The, the Book of Belial certainly helps a little bit, but I I think we re-roll it. The the we're we're out of books. Okay, we need to get away. Yeah, we're we're out of books. We should be out of books. Um, we're not gonna get another re-roll, and that's fine. But we um we may be able to swing a, a library on the next floor or Sheol. So, with that being said, I believe we just go down. I didn't even use the uh, Friends Till the End card, or pill, whatever you want to call it. Um, which I should have, uh, to be fair. But there is another, um, there is, in fact, another. So, I, I suppose um, all that effort we went through uh, wasn't exactly, wa wasn't completely wasted. So we'll actually have... I, I guess what you would call. Now, um, please explode into a spirit heart. You didn't, but you exploded into more money, which is um, it's fine. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Hey, Bezano. All right. Um, and, oh, nope, we actually have Book of Shadows, which we will also use. Oh, no, we blew it up. Never mind. Well, that was stupid. I thought we had saw, seen the Book of Shadows. For, um, whoops. I guess I was just a little too eager. Um, all right. Well, the, the mom fight shouldn't be too terribly difficult for us, um, all, all told, um, And um, that will signal that we have now reached the maximum amount of damage we can possibly do with money equals power. 
So we're still going to be doing fairly decent damage. It, it may not be game-breaking damage, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take, all, we'll take both of these, actually. And uh, then we'll go fight the boss. And it would be great if we could get another double item pedestal room on uh, Shoal. Or Sheol, depending on ooh, if you want to pronounce it the Hebrew way. Which I would argue is the way that you should pronounce it. Because it is Hebrew. Alright. Damn it. Um, there goes that spirit heart. Good shot, however. There we go. Uh, really impressed that that uh, thing didn't shoot. Well, if this is any indication of how much damage we're actually doing, um, it's it's pretty high, I would say. Hey, um, you know, more spirit hearts the better. And another spirit heart, which is great. And then we will come and we'll totally fight. You should have been blown up. Yeah, you should be dead any second now. Oh, you guys don't stand a chance. It's like a hot knife through butter. These zombies won't stand a chance. We're not, again, we're, we're not breaking the level, or breaking the game levels of damage. Um, which is a shame. I would love to be on that level. The, by evidence that she actually got to spawn uh, Chud. Oh, uh, there's another glitch that I really don't like in um, Rebirth. Is that she starts shooting bombs even though she's dead. Or she's up in the ceiling. I don't like that. So we actually got an extra spirit heart out of that. And we got the spirit heart that we lost. So we're going to go to Shoal. Um, which does not, in fact... Oh, please blow up. Thank you. Um, sad that you blew up on me. But, um, you know, nothing I can do necessarily about that. However... Um, cool that you did um and we are totally going to use the secret heart uh, secret room to our advantage to make sure that we don't have to necessarily deal with this this nonsense um and then you're just going to die no point in picking up the money but we're going to do it anyway And hopefully we'll get more spirit hearts out of that. We sure did. The moon is completely useless for where we're going. And another spirit heart is great and a scent that we can't use. Okay. So, um... Yeah, that's the damage that we shouldn't have taken, but um, the Fallen is not going to be uh, a problem, I don't think. Considering that he's already dead. Um, so, I, ow, that was a really good shot. I didn't even think that we were in range of that. Um, so, who do to do If you wanted to do your, your brimstone shot, I'd uh, be okay with that. Um, the fact that the electricity is actually doing um, visible damage to his health bar is something that I really appreciate and enjoy. Um, so, um, we're totally going to make mincemeat out of this fight, although, um, believe it or not, I don't really have a lot of... Um, love for this fight, um, but better than nothing, uh, so, whew. 
I didn't mean to pick that up. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, if you could just give me rooms like this the entire time, I probably wouldn't complain, to be completely fair. Um, yeah, if you just want to stay like that, that's great. I've never fought Triacnid as a boss, I don't think. Hey, that's great! Okay, ooh. Thank you. Okay, so we just have to keep these guys like this. But we did for a little while. It's really hoping that we uh, just, you know, have one of them dead by now. Which is great. Um, I dodged right into that. Which I suppose is fairly par for the course. And um, let's just do this, guys. Oh, we got Demon Baby! That's great! Um... So yeah, I knew this was going to be a problem um, when we picked up Technology 2. I believe I even said, hey, this is going to be crazy. Um, let's uh, just, you know, drop some bombs and hope that that does something. Um, technology and uh, a constant source of crazy-ass damage uh, will prevail, I hope. Um, it would be really nice if we got the wafer. Uh, it would, what it would really be nice is if we got uh, some invinci a moment of invincibility where we wouldn't have we would just be able to stand right next to him and um, shoot like this. Actually, um, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. I would say, um, bravissimo, we finally won, and I don't feel like that we got carried there. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.